Hello, I'm Miguel. I'm in the 2016 to 2017 uh, year 13 physics class. And this is the Millikan oil drop experiment. So this was done to figure out the charge of an electron. Uh, so what you have is this cylindrical device with different levels, two levels actually. Uh, it has a hole in the middle, uh, an atomizer here, which is basically uh, something that sprays uh, very fine droplets of uh, fluid. In this case, it's oil. Uh, you have a radiation source here. Which, admit, which emits x-rays. Uh, this is to ionize the oil droplets that are sprayed through here and fall through the hole into here. You then also have a battery connected to these two plates. to create an electric field between them. So this would be the plates. So what happens? As the oil droplets fall, they have two forces acting on them. They have their weight downwards and up thrust, which is very small. However, after they are ionized, they become negative and are affected by the electric field. This causes them to experience an upwards force from the electric field, which slows down their fall. As you increase the voltage, the force increases as well until you reach a point of equilibrium where the up thrust is no more because it's not falling anymore and the force exerted from the electric field is equal to the weight of the oil droplet. Here you know that the force is equal to QE Q being the charge of the particle and E being the electric field strength. And by just rearranging the equation, uh, because you know that the force is equal to the, to the weight, you know that QE is equal to mg, therefore Q is equal to mg over E. The mass you can figure out by measuring the diameter of the droplets, then with that, uh, finding the radius and then finding the volume. Uh, you know the density because you know it's oil. G is just the downward acceleration from the force of gravity. And then, yeah, you get a, you get a value for the, ch for the charge. But that charge is not the charge of an electron because they have attached many, many electrons. So when you repeat the experiments, you find out that the value of Q is always a multiple of uh, minus 1.6 times 10 to minus 19 coulombs, which is the value of the charge of an electron.